What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to disable or prevent x-ray onto your Apex server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial upload, just like this one. As Minecraft is a game with no official anti-cheat or guidelines that prevent players from cheating, many players choose the dark side. The easiest form of cheating that your server denizens may adopt is X-Ray, which allows them to see through blocks by changing the textures of them to be completely transparent. They do this to make mining significantly easier, allowing them to save tons of time on what would be spent on mining. Today's guide is going to be going over how to prevent the use of X-Ray on your server with the use of plugins. With our services, you can install these plugins with a few clicks. We're going to be walking you through every step of the way. The paper anti-X-Ray installation is the first and most recommended method to perform anti-X-Ray on your server as it's already built into a paper MC server jar and requires no additional files to function. This is gonna work most of the time, and it's likely to work on almost any version of PaperMC. Our first step today is we're gonna go ahead and jump into the Apex server panel. Once you are in the Apex server panel, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and stop your server. Once your server has come to a complete stop and it says offline right here, then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the jar file selection and we're going to click on the drop down and either type in PAPER, paper, or scroll up and down to find a version of paper that you'd like for your server. We recommend that you create a new world and that you restart your server to avoid any errors. Once paper has run at least once on your server is online after you initially restart it, then you can go ahead and turn off your server one more time because we're going to make a couple more changes. Once your server is fully off and it says offline, then you're gonna go ahead and jump into FTP file access to the left. Log in with your information and what you're gonna be looking for is the paper.yml file. To the right of this file, you're gonna see that there's a button that says edit. Go ahead and click it. Once you're in the edit page, go ahead and scroll down near to the bottom of the page where you can find the anti-x-ray part of the file. In the enabled part of this text file, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's set to true. You're gonna leave a space in between the little hyphen right there and then true in lowercase. There's a couple different engine modes you could use. There's engine mode one and engine mode two. Both modes are effective at preventing X-ray, but engine mode one is the low performance impact mode. It simply turns the blocks into stones while engine mode two randomly adds fake ores into view. We definitely recommend engine mode one for the best performance, but engine mode two can be used if you prefer it. The next text list is the hidden blocks list. This list is gonna change which blocks are hidden from view. For example, you might wanna add an ancient underscore to breeze to the list. These replacement blocks, under hidden blocks, are the blocks that are used for replacement when using engine mode one. You can add more blocks to the mix or remove the ones you don't like. Once you've made your changes and anti-x-ray enabled is set to true, you can click at the save button at the top left of the page. Once this is saved, you can go ahead and click at the top of the page on the name of your server. This is gonna take you to your main server panel page where you could restart your server. The second option is the option to use plugins in order to achieve a similar result. There are quite a few of anti-X-ray plugins available, so we recommend browsing for a preferred one, one that is the version of your server and one that'll work with vanilla or a paper jar. An example may be the OR announcer plugin to receive X-ray alerts. It's just gonna let you know if somebody's using an X-ray. For the panel install, what you're gonna to wanna to do is head to your main panel page. 
Then on the main panel page, what you're going to want to do is scroll down and make sure that your jar file is a version of Minecraft and that it says paper. Then scroll back up and make sure that you stop your server before making any changes. Keep an eye on that online check mark and then once it cycles and turns into offline, then what you're going to want to do is click on plugin list to the left of the page. And plugin list, go ahead and make sure that it's a spigot over bucket. And then in the name, go ahead and search up for the x-ray plugin that you want. We're going to be using or announcer. Then hit enter and make sure you click on one that has specific versions on the page. This one on its page lists that it has server versions 1.16 to 1.7. We're using 1.16.5, so 1.16 is gonna work. To the right, it shows what compatible version of the plugin works, 2.7.2. So we're gonna select 2.7.2 at the bottom of the page for our 1.16 server. Scroll down and make sure that the server version says 2.7.2 and then click install on the right. Wait for it to install and then once it's done installing, go ahead and scroll to the top of the page and click on the name of your server so that you can head back to the main server panel page. You can either start or restart your server to get it up and running. You can head to the Or Announcer webpage that, of course, we're going to link below the video in the description. And once you head to that page, you're going to be looking for two different things. You're going to be looking for the tested Minecraft versions, which lets you know that it's been tested from versions 1.8 to all the way up to 1.16. If your version of paper that you've selected fits into this category and ours does, it's 1.16, then you can go ahead and click on Download Now. Once a jar downloads, make sure to click and drag it into a folder where you can easily locate it later on. For the FTP install, what you want to do is head to your main server panel and make sure that you're running a paper server. You can scroll down to the jar file selection and just make sure that it says paper and the version of Minecraft, 1.16.5 in this case, is compatible with your plugin. Spigot works too, but we highly recommend paper. Once it's back up, make sure to stop your server before you make any changes. What you're looking for is for your server to turn offline instead of online. Then jump into FTP file access to the left and log in with your info. From there, what you can do is scroll down until you find the plugins folder. Click in the plugins folder and go ahead and to the left of the page, click on Upload. From there, open up the folder where you downloaded the plugin and click and drag your file to the right side of the page. And then what you want to do is wait until it says uploaded one out of one files and 100%. Then click on the name of your server at the top of the page and either start or restart your server. For preventing the use of x-ray on your server, you only have two options right now. The cleaner, easier method, which worked 90% of the time, or the costly method, which is foolproof at the server resources expense. Overall, cheating sucks, but we have the technology to fight back. The reason that we use specific plugins than a general anti-cheat is to minimize the resources used by these plugins while maximizing the effectiveness. Well gamers, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.